always tracking, always alerting. This is Storm Team 8. And another good night to open those windows as we're waking up this morning. We're still a little bit on the cooler side of things, but actually pretty near normal for our lows right now if we stay the same here over the next hour or so. 63 degrees right now in Grand Rapids. Across the Midwest, we're kind of holding on to those mid 60s, but some more 70s far off to our west. We'll eventually see some of those warmer temperatures as we progress throughout the next few days. Now, a bit of a change from yesterday. We did have this high pressure system that's now pretty far off to our east. It was just south of Michigan yesterday, and you can see as it slides off, we're getting a few more patchy clouds moving in. I'll call it partly cloudy by the afternoon and evening today, but overall, still going to be a really nice day out there. We'll be a couple degrees warmer with your highs topping off in those mid 80s. Expect a high near about 86 in Grand Rapids. Notice a good bit of sunshine and a mostly clear night ahead of us, but this time around, don't expect those low temperatures to be as cool. You may want to keep on the air conditioning as we'll only fall to about those mid to upper 60s. Nonetheless, a great beach day once again. We had very calm conditions yesterday. Your water temperatures are sitting in those upper 60s to mid 70s really across the board. It might be just slightly breezier though as we head throughout our day. Winds will be coming from the southwest at about 5 to 10 miles per hour, but we could get up to the closer to that 15 mark as we head throughout our afternoon. And because of that, our waves likely anywhere from about 1 to 3 feet. Nonetheless, I would expect most of the area to be flying green flags, maybe a yellow flag here or there, be on the lookout for that. Otherwise, as we look at our future cast, we're quiet today. I did mention we'll call it partly cloudy by the afternoon and a little bit breezy as winds come from the south, southwest at about 5 to 15 miles per hour. Tonight, we should clear out for the most part, but by the time we get into tomorrow morning, you'll likely be waking up to some showers and thunderstorms. That's ahead of a cold front that's developing right now off to our west, and it's going to be very scattered in nature. You'll notice some areas are going to stay free free of rain tomorrow, but I'll call it a gloomy day. If you're not seeing that rain, you're definitely seeing that cloud cover. And as those showers persist behind the front, winds will then be coming from the north. That's going to cool us down a bit. Now, I do want to show you your rainfall estimates because it's not going to be too significant. And I know some of the area could use the rain, but unfortunately, we're really tracking anywhere from maybe a trace to at very most up to a tenth of an inch. So don't count on a ton of rain from this system. We'll hold on to those 80s as we go about Monday and Tuesday to Despite the showers, but the real heat arrives towards the middle of the week. We are back in those 90s, and really, models are holding steady, showing that Wednesday will be the warmest day of them all. Before we get there, though, 86 today, scattered showers and storms tomorrow, 83. Will be mostly dry Tuesday with a chance for a shower overnight into Thursday. Isolated storms are likely Thursday morning, but will still be hot in the upper 80s. The good news is it looks like we dry out a little bit more towards our weekend, but it certainly will be much hotter by the time we get there. And I know you said it was going to be a picture perfect day yesterday. I spent mm -hmm. some time out at Coast Guard and it was really, really yes. incredible. Not a cloud in the sky later on in the afternoon. Yeah, I'm sure it was busy and I kind of suspect mm -hmm. it will be similar today as well. I bet it will too.